guys know the drill, fall in my fellow scouts to a third age reforged 5 e 3 siege battle replay of Bar Cigar. Today's replay was sent to me by Panther, who's commanding the Realm of Farage, so thank you Panther. Now if you guys like to see me through other reforged replays like this, other Total War replays like from Rome 2, Napoleon Total War 3, Warhammer 2, just to name a few, you can post them to the links displayed here on the screen, which you'll find in the video description below. They are my email at scoutsofentertainment at gmail.com. The second is my Discord ID, so you can post replays to me directly. And the third is a link to join my Discord server, Scouts Reconnaissance, where you can post all manner of Total War replays into the Battle Replay sub-channel. I also have various funding options available if you guys would like to support my work. It does really help out the channel and the Discord. But if you'd like to support the channel in other ways, guys, then help me get to 20 likes on this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Tick that bell for notifications so you stay up to date with all of those content as it drops. Leave your own thoughts about this battle in the comment section below. Look forward to reading them. And with that, let's get started. So, going through Harad's army here, we've got the Black Serpents, we've got some Muhad Beastmasters here. That's a Javelin Skirmisher unit. Pretty much the same as the Ridmark Skirmishers, only these guys ride camels instead of horses. We have the Hashari Shadows. It's a Ranger unit with body piercing ammunition. Exactly, the, Pretty much exactly the same as the Grey Company of Arthurdain. We have Mumakil here. Out front, we have some Saffron Warband. Looks to be three units there. We've got some Saffron Pikes here. On the side, we've got some uh, Champions of Nafrat embedded in there. I think Demons of the Desert in there as well. We've got some Trollman of Harad mixed in there. Looks to be Hyden. There's the Demons. We've got some Hashari Stalkers here. That's the Ranger unit on the foot. We've got two units here of Hydrogen Spearmen, I think, in the back here, and some Saffron Pikemen hiding there at the same time. We've got some more Hydrogen Spearmen there hiding it, it would seem. A few hidden units there. But moving on to the first of his allies today. We find ourselves looking at Lindon, coming by Tweak. There's some Harlan Riders here, that's a missile unit on horseback. The rest of his army looks to be all the way back here. I don't know how this happened, this has got to be a mistake. We have some Harlan Guard here, looks to be two units there. Some Noldoran Guard, two units. Some Noldoran Blade Masters there. These guys are the big heavy hitters of Lindon. We, next we have some Mython Saw Masters here, two units there. Usually we see the general in that unit. We have some Mithon Marines here. We have some Fallen Marines, two units. There's some Hard on Infantry out front. Looks to be four units of them in total. And I think that's it there for them, but still a good army there for Lindon. Alright, we'll head down this way, because I clicked that portion of the map. We have Isengard, commanded by Nevin. We have some Guards of War Thank here. We've got some Urkut Infantry here. I think maybe four units of them there. We've got two units, maybe even three units, of Urukai Pikes here. We've got some half orc spear guard here, two units I believe. Looks to be four units of Dalingan veterans, one unit of Urukai reavers, two units of Snaga skirmishers, some warg skirmishers. Looks to be maybe two units of warg skirmishers, and that is it for them. A little bit surprising. I'd be expecting to see Nazgûl high berserkers to say the least. So it's a little bit surprising that I don't see them. It's possible they're there and I just missed them. And this huge blob of troops. So we'll keep our eye out for them, of course, later. Alrighty. Next we have Rune, coming by Pantagruel. Look at Pantagruel. We have some Eastron crossbows here, armoured up all the way. Basic crossbow unit, no armor um, upgrades whatsoever. Great comparison, opportunity. We have some Loke Narim, two units there. Loke Sion Rim and Loke Gamp Rim here. Maybe just one unit of each, just sort of mixed in with each other there. We also have some more Loke Gamp Rim there. Dragon's Wrath Guildsman, hidden. Balkov Sapphire Blazeman, hidden. Balkor Trisman hidden, and Loke Flag Rim hidden as well. Don't know how many units of them yet. And some Dragon's Wrath Crossbows to finish us off. Generals in that unit. Had a little talk to Windy recently. He um he tends to favour the general for Rune in the Kamul's Chosen, but um I don't know. Both units are heavy hitters. Both units we usually see committed at the very end. So, you know, I tend to favour putting the general in the Dragon's Wrath Crossbow unit, mainly because... They're a unit that's decent in melee combat, and also can use their crossbows just to smack your enemy down when when it looks like the rest of your army's in trouble. They can actually come in and save the day, potentially. Finally, we have Mordor, coming out Proxima Centauri. And we have some Orc Javelins here, two units. We have some Olar Kai, Troll Drummers. We've also got some Ronan Halberds over here on the flank, two units there. Blackguard of Barador, Eric Captains, Nazgul. Temple Executioners, Armored Up. Two units of Sauron's Will. Some Temple Guard as well, AP Archers. Two units of Mere Smuggle Chosen. And some Orc Fodder out front, just to protect the army really. 
He's got some sort of um, square, half square formation here just to protect more elite troops in the center. Makes sense. And I think that's it there for the attackers. So we will go to the first of three defenders today. And come to a familiar face here, Demon's Hunter. Once again, commanding Numenor. He's got some Numenor and Steel Bows here, two units there. Maybe even three. We've got some Naru and Naru Royal Guard. Some Seafarers of Nindamos, two units. Some Numenor and Shield Guard. Naru and Naru Sentinels. More Numenor and Shield Guard. And potentially more Seafarers of Nindamos. And some Numenor and Cohort, maybe as well. Hard to tell. We've got some Pharaohs and Swordmasters here. Royal Legion of Armanalos. Some Balaga Pikes here. Maybe one or two units there. And a Trebuchet. And some new knowing cohort as well. Okay, moving into Bursa Gath, we've got Dale, commanded by Lord Touch Me. We got some Buddy and Marksman there, some Daly and Spearman here, one unit. We got some sub Soul Masters of Esgaroth there, armored up, sorry. Daly and Spearman. We got three units of Barding Herd, some Daly and Spearman here. Daly and Royal Guard, another unit of Soul Masters armored up. Some more Daly and Spearman, some Blackshot Dragon Slayers, and some Soul Masters of Esgaroth. That's a lot of Blackshot Dragon Slayer, I think. Potentially he brought two units of them. Don't see that every day. Got some dismounted Earls of Dale here. I think maybe three units of them. And I think I've recovered the body and Marksman here, but if I didn't, two units there. And I think that's it there for Dale. I've got some Daily Paladins over here as well. And it brings us to the final defender today, the Weirus, commanded, who's commanding Lothorian. We have some Chaos Calhoun Guardians here, two units of them. And some Lord and Spearman here. And maybe two units as well, embedded in that pack. The rest of the army might be up here. We've got some Watchers of the Golden Wood. Wood and Protectors as well. Another unit of Protectors. Some Kindred of Celebron. And I don't see anything else there. A little bit surprising. We'll just head over here briefly, but for now we'll get this replay started. Enjoy the siege, guys. We'll just quickly search for other troops. We've got some Lauren Axemen over here. Three units, I believe. Notice they don't come on, they don't appear on the map there. Next we have some Siren Emoth Rangers here, body piercing. Some two units of March Wardens of the Wood. Lauren and Archers here, two units, make that three units there. They've staked the place up the Wazoo, so cavalry are not getting through here anytime soon. With the exception of the Mumma Kill, I think. Looks like we're a little ways off for an engagement, but we will come back if we see any cavalry engagements. So I'll see you soon, guys. As promised, we've got some Riders of the Golden Wood here, taking on the Hard On Riders. And see, despite being spread out over such a large distance, the Riders just don't miss. Now, I'd be surprised if the Hard On Riders get more than 5 kills. 2 just dropped, which was impressive. The Riders are pretty darn good. Sorry, the Watchers of the Gullet were just owning the Hardon Riders. They pretty much depleted their unit to half strength. The Frying the Light Gamprim. Potentially, the Weirus could target the Runes General if you wanted to. The Runes General, yeah. We've got some Kamul's Chosen there. Looks like um, Pantacruel could be trying to mask the presence of his General. Usually when people face off Rune, they tend to actually focus on the Kamul's Chosen because that's where the General does tend to reside or the Dragon's Hath Crossbow. Either of those two units are the main units that a lot of Rune players put their generals in. Okay, I've got some more skirmishes moving up. Rise of the Gullet Wood heading towards them. Don't know if this is a good idea. And yeah, honestly, Harlan Rise and running in circles with watches firing on them. There is pretty much no point. They just don't miss. Okay, now fire on the walk skirmishes. Gotta keep the riders moving. As long as you can keep them out of the range of their enemies, they won't let you down. They'll actually destroy their enemy. They're pursuing enemies. Now 
Now, it looks like what Weiris is focus here is just to try and deal as much damage as he can. Mevis' plan is just to harass the riders all the way out of here. Mainly trying to protect their more elite troops and their heavy hitting troops. Like he's deliberately trying to soften up the Urukai Pike before they get into battle. Who's here? Whoa! Whoa, 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 what happened here? Remember Killoff just surged into the city. Remember Kill needs to communicate better. Did they break? Oh, they're broken. This could be bad. Oh god, Panther, remember? These guys are broken! Maybe they only kill it, yeah, maybe they only kill friendly troops when they're running amok. Apparently they're you got them back. You got Harlan on riders here. Or what's left of them. The shadows are hiding. So demons can't attack them. But things here became much more difficult for the attackers. They'll be forced to focus all their forces on the other entry point. And now Lothorin has effectively blocked off half this ramp. So that's fun. Now it looks like the moon killed Chase Numenor all the way up this ramp here. Fired into him. Now what's interesting is I swear we saw a moon kill fall down here and then sink into the sand or into the ground. So that is interesting. Nevin is to turn to finish off the Watchers of the Golden Wood, or Riders of the Golden Wood, sorry. And he's done it. That's it. The last one has fallen. You got my Beast Masters moving up. They could be getting ready to throw what javelins they have left. Which isn't a bad idea. You got a lot of Numenorean troops here, dead to rights. Look at Shari Stalker's firing in here. Make some decent hits. Now I don't I don't think Mobile Kill act as a wall and that uh, arrows do go through them. And um, Panther can be a bit I suppose Cavalier with his ammunition, his body piercing ammunition. He's got two units of them, one on horseback, one on foot. Okay, Mordor's moving in, in loose formation. Still lost about 10 years more there. Not the kind of troops he wants to lose. Okay, Jerry Shay is starting to fire again. And we've got rune troops coming in, like Sarn Rune taking a couple of hits. Like a Baradur in tight formation. Probably should get him into loose formation. That was, yeah, that was really good. Taking out a chunk there of the Battle of Trisman. Armored up these guys are. It's probably important to use armor upgrades if you can on your missile units, just so it buys them more time to use their ammunition under intense pressure. Alright guys, we're back. We've got 
Scenario now roll guard up top. But this is suicide to come through this way. I am surprised the attackers aren't choosing to commit just all their forces into the battle over there to try and get into the Bosagarth. I just don't see them effectively getting through this. I mean, I did a stream once where we, where we played on this map, and our ally decided to commit his Wimmer kill, and all of them got killed around this point, effectively shutting down the entire entry into Bersagarth this way. We couldn't use it at all. It was just, it was just the dream of any defender having their opponent effectively block off their means, one of their only two means of attack. And we just didn't have enough strength to get through on the other side. 2% to 4% there. So, okay, got the Shari Shadows that moved up. I also had the walk up and panicked a little bit. A couple of them impaled on stakes. And yeah, you can't just walk it in, can you? So Croxman is going to lead the charge here. Move up his halberds on the right. All javelins potentially can be fired upon by archers on the hill. We've seen that many times. Of course, archers over here. Sorry, or archers javelins here won't be that much safer because defending archers can fire at them from here and over there as well. This is actually a good thing for the attackers to see that. Because even if they do hit a couple of troops, they only hit maybe four or five at the most, being conservative with five. Well, attackers are making their way slowly through this. It's still going to be very tough going. This is surprised the defenders more time to shoot the enemy. Yeah, if you're an attacker, it's kind of like a small maze you've got to navigate. He's got to send troops through here, wheel right where the Hadrian Spearmen are, and then head straight through that way. It's not as bad, it's a bit of an inconvenience, but that's the only easy means of getting through this. Possible Nevin is trying to do that. We've got coming up more near our own cohort. I'll tell you what, this is where the Black Guard of Baradur is needed. Here. The attackers just need to establish a foothold in this area, but this area is essentially a kill box and. I don't know if the attackers can move in fast enough before the defense can just hammer them consistently with trebuchet fire, archer fire, especially from the Syrian Emperor Rangers. There are another over there, but they're a big concern if they're brought up to that hillside. So like trebuchet is firing down here. Mixing your troops together. Might as, well, might as well put them in tight formation. You're going to spread them out, spread them out. Just make sure that they don't overlap. It looks like Tweak didn't put his Noldering Guard or Blade Masters in loose formation. This looks like tight formation. Yeah, he didn't. Noldering Blade Masters in tight formation. Trebuchet is trying to target them. We had arches up there. So the old javelins threw their. not well, through their javelins. Took out a lot of the Dalian speedmen. Hang on, they're not out of ammunition. 
couple of them are still holding javelins. Okay, Proxmus is just trying to get him out of harm's way. Away from the melee fight, they're not out of harm's way, not by a long shot, but you, know, you get the idea. Proxima should just be running up his men until they get to around this point. And then lower the halberds once they're in combat. It makes it harder for the archers to get a beat on. Two units of ranges? No, it's just, just the one. I don't know if that's a good idea. The March Orders of the Wood probably should be just be firing down there. There's a lot of targets. But none of them suit body piercing ranges. Approximate position of these orc fodder there just to sort of act as a meat shield as more reinforcements are sent up so they don't get hit so many times. Got the Shari Shadows here. They could fight strength for much more of the wood, and they are. Potentially they're trying to hit the rangers, but they just tore them up. Up down most of them. Good move there from Panther. So most of Panther's forces are on this side. Panther, why did you think it was a good idea to send in your men to kill first? I thought you would have learned from that. my team's lesson. Now Panther here you'll see has committed his best troops, the Chimps and Nails were out. And the trouble of Harada here. There's no Ferris and Swordmasters, there's no elite troops here. What's the idea behind this? I suppose you should be grateful that the Narinara World Guard isn't firing. Could be Panther's forces are too close to Dales and Numenor's, potentially. But this is why it should be a good idea to have the Trebuchet and the Seaman Moth Rangers here on standby. In the event the attackers get through and try and do a big push through here, the Rangers can just nail them and drive the attack back. If the defense can keep the attack here, then I think they can win out. It just funnels the attackers into such a tight space, makes it almost impossible for them to really just smash their way through. I mean, we know Lothorin has two units of Karas Kahan Guardians. Those guys are a nightmare to get through. And the attackers only have one big body pushing unit, and that is the Black Guard of Baradur. And if they're not here to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Karas Kahan Guardians, and the attackers can't use their javelins to hit them, then they're going to really struggle here. Thirteen to thirteen. I 
Those guys have had some great inroads. But they need to send us a Rokai Pikeman here to go toe-toe -to with the Bowlegger Pikeman. Well, their forces here are going to get pushed back for sure. More Javelins firing, potentially at the Elves. Yep. Lord appears to be reluctant to send in reinforcements. He's got rangers over here. The attackers can move in here fast enough, they can cut off their retreat and take him out. Mm, their only real concern is the defender's trebuchet. Potentially the kid with the Caliboran can be a problem. Okay, Panther's just lost his general. The attackers are using their javelins on the wrong kind of units. These are more light to lower mid tier troops. Except for, of course, you know, Lorraine Spinner. That unit, I would go with their javelins up myself. And I would get throwing javelins into Dalian Spinner rather than low mid tier, light tier troops if it meant that I was trying to get through this defense quicker. Like if I needed to get through it faster, then I'd be keen to weaken it and kill it as fast as possible. It looks like Twig is gearing up. Most of his army is in play. He's waiting to be sent in the battle. And what's left of some harm on guard here, I'm trying to provide some cover fire on the hill. It's enough to dr drive back the kid to the Caliborn, so that's something. I guess they're trying to send in more troops, but this mill kill is just slowing down the momentum big time. Troops is all well and good, but they have no pike units here.
Defenders look like they're holding fast. Despite the attackers throwing everything at them. I like Sam, remember? They're getting in the way here with the Harland Guard. I don't know why they're being put here in position there. Well, Twig's gone for it. He's definitely trying to throw the defenders off balance. Well, regard, he should be charging directly to the side here with this many Earls. Trying to hold back reinforcements. But the Lyrus here should charge in his own axe and straight into the flank of the Northern Guard. I mean, if Trick's going to expose himself to that, then that's where the defenders need to jump on that. Javelin's incoming. I wonder the Kindred Caliban's trying to bring him down. This is probably frustrating for Lord. His troops are in the fight. Javelin is just knocking down and hitting him perfectly. That unit may as well have chosen, I think it was the same unit that broke earlier. Hard on guard here. Fire. Potentially they could be targeting the wooden protectors. Targeting either the Sauron's will. Well, maybe that's it, yeah. I didn't really see them targeting the Northern Blade Masters. Yeah, Wooden Protectors targeting Sauron's will there. 32 244. being committed. Don't you get the other side. They're firing from above more. Where the garage is this time? This is going to make the attackers feel a bit better. The forces have finally got past the molecule. Oh, 
more javelins. Is this no shortage of javelins? Is that coming from little beast hunters? Not nope, alpha tribesmen. And we've got some Hashari Shadows firing on them using the elevation provided from their horses to shoot into the reinforcements of the Karaskal Guardians. That's gold! We really should be getting these guys out of pipe formation, running them towards the battle to get them in as fast as possible to deny as many shots as they can for the Hashari Stalkers. Nice volley there. Is that from Selden River Patrol? No, Seafarers and Nindamus. Anthony Nine. Streaming pretty much at full strength, but they've taken some damage. Fifty-nine, thirty-nine, so fifty-eight. Right now, I think Demons is just throwing his stuff in here because it's such a huge blob, and it's it possibly they're panicking at this stage and they want to try and they're alarmed by the size of this growing blob and they want to try and shrink it. And I get the psychology of that because a smaller blob of enemy troops seems less threatening and less intimidating. And if it's making the, def if it's making the defenders too nervous, then they'd be inclined to use more ammunition to try and shrink it to make themselves feel more comfortable. Unfortunately, that tactic can work very much against you. It really seems like Isengard and Varun are just throwing themselves on the pikes. For now, anyway. Now, demons... Demons of the desert here could be... the key factor the attackers need to bring into this fight. Demons can basically annihilate all these guys in the blink of an eye. I don't see them up here. Okay, standard unit of battle driving. Without reinforcements, this attack is going to falter in five minutes. Ok, 
Okay, Mordor here. He's got their Olog high through. Elder and Blade Masters already at the second level. Okay, Dal just lost their general. Your Kanul's chosen down here. Okay, the attackers should be sending their forces here through here pronto. I mean, it looks like Tweak is already doing that. It's here. We've got Soul Masters fighting their way through the Mython Marines. The demons of the desert are here. Yeah, they're at 50. So pretty much a full unit. They haven't lost too many. Seriously, what are they doing? They should be running. The attacker's new strategy here should be to race their forces across, force the defense to fall back, leaving these troops behind so they can attack them from the rear. <laughs> Those guys, they died as soon as they were touched. Karas Khan Guardians, good target. Okay, how many are left? 35. Don't think it's worth shooting at them again. Of course, I could be wrong. And Tweak has got his Nodder and Baymasters in their ranks, they're in loose formation. So they can't fight effectively. Tweak and Panther did a phenomenal job knocking them out of the picture. Now I know these guys are wavering, but Demons Hunter needs to try and hold back the hold back the Demons of the Desert as long as possible. Demons Hunter tries to kill Demons of the Desert. It's very confusing to use that in the sentence. Potentially the demons aren't even needed here. It looks like the attackers have enough momentum to push their way through. Okay, narrow and narrow guards up and up. All good hits. Forty six to seventy one though. Defenders really struggling. I thought the attackers were as good as gone on this side. I didn't see them getting through this at all. So they're doing far better than I expected them to. We've got a Doom Shadow here from Demon's Hunter. He's got some big hits here. could keep the seafarers in the fight for a little bit longer. Okay, Demons probably should slow down the fire here. This boss is a bit too small, and he's got a bigger battle ahead of him. This chosen is trying to clear up enemies down here, so they can focus their entire attention on the remaining defending force. Looks like they used up all the trebuchet ammunition. The demon has continued to pour it on the rune. And her artists that can march through here. I don't think it's gonna be that effective. Oh, 
Okay, Lord is using his Black Spot Dragon Slayers and his Lorian Archers here to fire into the Hard on Guard. That is a little surprising. Imagine they'd be saving that ammunition for the Black Guard of Baradour. Yeah, yeah, that's the bigger threat to them at one. Maybe he only had one unit of Black Shield Dragon Slayers. This looks huge. Okay, Royal Guard's firing in. They're firing into the Northern Blade Masters. Shooting at reinforcements. Reinforcements aren't tightly grouped. In fact, they're loose. I think the defense is using up way too much ammunition to fire out one unit. The attackers have tons in reserve. In the desperation to beat back the enemy, they're using up way too much ammunition to do it. I don't think Rangers still have ammunition. Um, the Weirus, I think, maybe something got by mistake. So, yeah, they have their boat, I swear. We'll have be something, sorry. about the prize one. They're shooting at like flank, right? That's a bit better there from the Royal Guard. Got their axes out. Dragonfire. Sorry, Black Shield Dragon Slayers. I don't really shoot into the South of the Wall Banner, I think. Maybe they're trying to target the Eastern Crossbows. Then. It seems like the attackers are just trying to entice the defenders, and the defenders keep made it into it. The defenders are getting too much away of the most valuable assets.
74 to 77. France have brought this back a little bit, but it's cost them a lot to do that. They committed quite a lot here, and I don't think they got that much out. That fire looks like it's going straight to the black ship dragon size, and it is. Sort of times two speed here. Crossbows here get torn up. Looks like we'll have Lauren and Archer fight starting to really hit him. It is coming for us. Which is surprising considering they're in loose formation. I'm gonna have crossbows in here. Shame the rain back up the black shield dragon fire. Steel bows. Uh, the dragons and the crossbows look like they're just out of range. Oh, they can hit them. That's great news for the defenders. He's not reacting to it at all. He's lost three rows entirely of his strange path crossbows. He hasn't even fired a shot yet. This could be a big lucky break here for the defenders. Mission. The Demons has done very well. Panther Girl's going to save six, it would seem. Or maybe seven. All the commanding officers except the general were killed. So, room quarter break there. Skirmishes trying to help out as best they can. Okay, down to 42, 41. Big hits here. So far, Bayesman are still at 42.
Ooh, the Calibron seems hell bent on destroying the Bathos Sapphire Blades. There's a clear unit of Black Flag Grimm. Who's chosen? Looks, looks like they're headed this way. Russia Dragons, they're sallying out here. Jeez, Lord, expose himself. had a second unit of Black Shot Dragon Slayers. I couldn't find a second unit. I thought it was crazy there. Best suited to bring down the Snuggle Skin, which is if he has any ammunition left. Trying to hit the low sign room, it's got troops getting in the way of those shots. He's on crossbows here, steel bow should be targeting them for sure. And pressure's on them. Blackshot Dragon Slayer should be targeting the crossbows too. reacting to their presence. I'll do so at your own detriment. Oh, peril. The fence is going to spread out your answers a little bit. I think they're targeting the Eastern Crossbows. I have no idea who they're targeting. No, it looks like they're targeting the Light Game Broom. Eastern Crossbows are just getting in the way. Steel bows. 63 to 86. Targeting like Camp Rim once again, crossbows are just simply getting in the way.
Yeah, we're definitely on the business end of things here. Taker is trying to drive the defending answers back. The defending answers are standing their ground. Taking the hits and the losses. Refusing to give up field position. Being brought up. What do the attackers have left in the game? It's coming for us! It's coming for us! The Greats are fully getting deemed to the desert. Nevin has a large amount of Urukai infantry and Urukai pikes. The Panther has these Muay Beast tamers, these guys here. Don't have the. Oh no, do seem to have the Japanese still. There is a full unit of Lake Marim as well. And we got the Shari Stalkers, so a lot of firepower here. You just gotta hope the defense don't fall back to the keep. If they do, then the attackers can't really use their missile units. Stormmaster's charged in. 67 to 91. Is that from the I don't know if there's any wards of us tearing on. I don't think there is. Let's have a look. The demons can't fire in. Struggle trying to find it, yeah. that's why many people just don't go there. It's almost impossible to get a hit. Sixty-nine 
Pretty much his entire life hasn't got around. Okay, Demon just lost his general. It should be. Mm. So, well done to Panther and his team. Panther there getting 1041. Proximus Centurio 523. Panther Gruel 585. Tweet Cack 1230. And Mevin here 643. Demon Hunter 2158. Lord Touch Me 2025. The Weirus 2062. So, all the defenders there got over 2000 kills, but I feel like they made some critical errors earlier on. They wasted way too much ammunition trying to bring down just one or two isolated units. And they're more on the mid to low tier side, most of them. Javelins also were hit on the wrong units. This, I guess maybe they just felt pressured by the blobs. They wanted to shrink the blob's size to feel more relaxed. Unfortunately, they left less ammunition for the more heavy to elite tier troops, like the Kamul's chosen. Just Okay, Champions of Nafrat here, 211. Trollman of Harad, 157. Demons of the Desert. Despite not using all their ammunition, 160, I think. Hashari Shadows there, 177. And those were his best performing trips there. So the Mool Kill only got 73 kills, and despite blocking off an entrance, the attacker still managed to walk away comfortably with that win. That is very impressive. I thought the attackers would have struggled to high heaven to break through that, but they did it, and they didn't lose too many trips at the same time. So, you know, well done to them. Their strategy paid off. It was impressive. Thank you to Panther for sending me the replay. If you guys like to see your own replays featured here on this channel, once again, you can send them to the links here displayed on your screen which you'll find in the video description below. They are, once again, my email at scoutsofentertainment at gmail.com, my Discord ID so you can contact me directly to send me, the, to send me through replays if you so wish, or a link to join my Discord server Scouts Reconnaissance where you can post all manner of Total War replays into the Battle Replay sub-channel. This is Scouts of Entertainment signing off, guys. Dismiss my fellow Scouts. See you in the next Total War battle.